Okay, good afternoon everyone. Thanks for joining today's press conference. Um, if you'd like a question today, please use the raise hand function. We'll come to as many of you as we can. We'll do it in two parts. First with the broadcast and then we'll move on to the daily newspapers. We're going to begin today's press conference with Ian Bolton of Sky Sports News. Ian, unmute yourself and away you go. Thomas, good afternoon. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. Good. Look, it's been a very eventful few hours in, in the football world. Um, tell me, did you know that Chelsea were signing up for a European Super League? And how do you feel about being part of it? I know it since yesterday. I know it since yesterday. Um... But um, you know, I'm here to be to be in the to be in the hardest competition. That's why I came here. That's what I love to play the toughest competitions in Europe. With uh, um, that's why I'm at Chelsea's. Um, as you know, I don't get involved too much with all the subjects around us. I'm a bit sad that the, all these subjects are there now because normally I thought we can talk about. The Man City game and more important the, the Brighton game. This is maybe not the case today, but uh, as you know, I'm uh, I'm part of this club. I want to play these hard competitions, and I trust my club to make the right decisions. And I think it's uh, too early to judge everything, and um, and uh, it's it's not my my part. On my badge from, from Chelsea, it says I, I, I have to play my role. Everybody has to play his role and my role is to be a coach and to be focused and we have an important game coming up tomorrow. Tell me, what's, what's, what's the reaction been like among, among the players? What are, what are they saying about it? Um, the Premier League has made it pretty clear that you know, being involved in the Super League would mean not playing in the Premier League. FIFA and UEFA say they wouldn't be able to play international football. What are they saying? Yeah, I think there are a lot of, of comments, a lot of uh, arguments and a lot of opinions out there. And I absolutely don't want to get involved to it because I simply don't know the details. I, I, know, I know the situation, the general situation uh, since yesterday, like I said, but I have to play my role. I, I trust my club. I haven't seen the players yet. Uh, we train today a bit later because we have a late game tomorrow. So we decided to push the schedule a little bit to give them more time to for 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 the recovery process after our tough match against Manchester City. And that's pretty much it. I think uh, the best thing is to stay calm and 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 to try to focus on our match, which is maybe now a little bit more different than than it was before. But in in, in the light of the reaction to it from from the fans, from uh, the FA, the Premier League, UEFA, FIFA, governments. Can you see, can you see this ever coming to fruition? To to what? Can you ever can you see this happening or not? <laughs> yeah, nice try. Um... If I had a clear opinion right now, I would not. I would not mention it. But it's it's too early, I think, to to judge it. And and there are way too many too many opinions out there. And if I had one, I mean, let's be honest. I'm an employee of this club, and I trust this club. And uh, my job is very clear. So I'm maybe not the right person to ask this. I'm I'm. I can understand that you're curious. I can understand that uh, there are many and uh, very emotional reactions out there which I can also understand, but I honestly don't know enough to judge it. I don't know the details. I was not clearly, obviously not involved. My players were not involved in, in these decision makings. So we have the, maybe the possibility, maybe it's a good thing to, to, to step back and to don't give our opinions and to don't lose our head about this, because this is uh, clearly a thing between the clubs. And we have to make sure that we that we fight for the for the goals that we still have in this season, which is uh, my job to do and and the players' job to to fulfil in the next days. We're going to move on now, Ian. Please to focus on the okay. game. Okay, 
the, 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 other, the other big news that's happened in the, the last few hours is, is Jose Mourinho's departure yeah. from Tottenham less than a week before they play in a cup final. Well, what do you make of, of what has happened? Has the, the timing of it surprised you? More or less, I'm always a little bit surprised when it happens because um, we are all competitors and we are all like we all try to beat each other. But in the end, we 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 wish that every manager has a good atmosphere and a, and a good and is in a good state and a good place to to work. So if it happens, never feels never feels good as another manager. But it's clearly also not my job to comment on that and um, it's. Uh, it's like it is. Everybody, everybody fights hard for results, and uh, when when a decision, big decision like this is coming, it uh, was uh, was a surprise today. I, I honestly did not see it coming, but I was absolutely not focusing too much on or not at all on their situation. You were playing in the, in the FA Cup this weekend. Um, congratulations again on on getting through to the final. Um, Everton and Spurs drew. Yeah. West Ham were beaten. Was it was it a good weekend for Chelsea in the Premier League? <clears throat> in the in the Premier League. Yeah. Yeah. Even though you yeah. didn't play. Yeah, it's better if our 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 di direct uh, competitors don't win. Yes, but uh, we have to do what what we can do and what we can influence. And this is now the big target. We have an absolute crucial week coming up with um, with Brighton and West Ham ahead of us. So in all direction, everything is possible, but it's in our hands now to to make a huge step, and uh, we come from a from a very successful, a very emotional, and um, yeah, very demanding week with games in um, in Sevilla against Porto and in Wembley Stadium against City. So now is the the moment today to to put full focus on on back on Premier League, um, and. Um, and to do to make hopefully a huge step in this race, so it's a crucial it's a crucial week for us. There's uh, no way that uh, I will deny this, and um, yeah, I hope we we will absolutely be ready tomorrow. Thank you, Ian. John Southfield, Five Live. Hi, Thomas. Hi. Um, are you concerned, worried at all that all the talk of the European Super League could be distracting? For your players, I'm sure they've got plenty of questions they they need answering. And will somebody from the club sit down with them and explain to them what what is going on? Yeah, maybe yes. In 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 short words, I think so. To calm the situation down and and to not enter in a situation where this affects our our preparation to games. I think that um, here inside, like uh, it's for the players, like like for me, we we trust the club. We are employees of the club. I think it's. Uh, it's the best if we do not get involved in in, in, in in sports politics and in these in all these situations. This is our, above our heads clearly, and this is not the role that we have to fulfill to to make this club successful. Everything that we could do is now to to be focused, uh, which is which is hard enough. But like you say, we have another we have another big subject now around us, and everybody's talking. And and um, I think that it's maybe impossible for the players to not be influenced by it. And and but but still, it's it's way too early, and there are a lot of our, uh, um, there are a lot of opinions out there. And yeah, hopefully, we can we can stay calm like like we are inside here in Cobham and can have uh, influence to the players that they don't get distracted and uh, that we that we can bring the performance that we need for tomorrow's game. One of your players, um, Tammy Abraham, obviously <coughs> wasn't in the squad on Saturday. Should he be a little bit concerned by that, about maybe his, his future at Chelsea? I think that everybody is concerned who is not in the squad and uh, everybody is, is a never an easy decision uh, for me to take it. Sometimes we, we spend almost an hour uh, talking after the last training, um, which de which decisions to take, which players we have to leave at home, because it's it's like thin margins uh, which decide. Um, Tommy has had this uh, he has had this uh, decisions now a few times uh, against him, which is never personal, but uh, this is life at, at Chelsea sometimes as a as a as a player. I hope that he does not get lost in too many thoughts because he 
he knows that from me also that's why i speak about it right now he knows that he is not be too concerned and and enter in too many too many thoughts about uh, all his situation everything he can do is, is stay focused uh, stay with belief a moment for um, a moment and the situation for a striker can change in minutes so uh, it's, i hope he's not concerned about his future i hope the only thing he cares about is is his training we talked about it is the only chance to escape the situation which is clearly not satisfying for him but it's my responsibility to take these uh, these choices and sometimes it's hard choices sometimes they are not even fair because we have to find a mix before for 18 players um, to um, to have all solutions for for substitutions for 10 positions in the game so he has all right to keep his head up and to trust himself will you, tomorrow? Tomorrow? will you be involved tomorrow let's see we have an important training coming up and uh, my decisions are not made yet so we we take every minute we have on the training pitch seriously and that's uh, the same for tummy um and and we we decide this after the last training like we like we always do Moose. <clears throat> Thomas, how are you? hi fine um, I, I need to ask you about the European Super League. I do apologise. For, for sure, for please, sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah, we've answered now four on that. So we're not going to do another one on that, I'm afraid. I just need to what play? I just need to do one, please. I just need to ask one. No, Sorry. We've covered it as much as we've covered it. We said everything we're going to have to say. Please move on to tomorrow's game. Thank you. Okay, there are no fans of tomorrow's game, obviously, because it's behind closed doors. But fans are still going to have an opinion on the big news of the day, which I'm not allowed to mention. So do you feel sorry for your fans uh, who will have an opinion on tomorrow on tomorrow's game, but also the possible setup of football going forward? Well, I'm I'm I'm, I'm clearly who. I clearly don't have the right to to speak out for the fans. The fans are old enough, and everybody is old enough to make up his own opinion and have his own uh, his own opinion, and has the right to speak up and and support or not support. Who would I be to to judge for the for the fans? What would be the reaction tomorrow? Honestly, I'm very sad that we play that we get with the time we get used to play in in empty stadiums because. Uh, this is not how this uh, sport works on highest level. This is we, we play for the spectators and we play for our supporters. And I wish that everybody would be in the stadium tomorrow to support us because we can need some help after tough matches. How can I how can I sit here and, and, and judge what might be possible and what might be the reaction of, of the supporters? I simply don't know it. And um, let's have some trust um, in our club especially I have trust in our club and uh, everybody and then it will and let's get uh, known to some more details and then we see. You mentioned the big week you've got with, with Brighton and West Ham. Um, other, you're now the FA Cup final and the semi-final of the Champions League. Yeah. In a sense, are those two competitions of more priority to you, would you say? Because if you win three games, you've won a double. Yeah, and if we don't win them, we have nothing. So right now we have nothing and uh, we are qualified for final and then semi-final like you say but right now today we have nothing this is the truth and we can uh, we have to I don't have the feeling that anybody dreams about having uh, two titles when you don't have the titles the truth is you have a title when you have your hand on it and and better you have both hands on it and better and better the referee already whistled um, and and the game is over uh, otherwise you don't have a title we have chances to have titles, but we have a big race, and we did not close this gap to to judge uh, to give priority to any to any finals or semi-finals in Champions League. We have clearly 100% uh, cleared out, and I trust my team to to 100% to clearly focus on next week. There are no more important games than uh, Brighton and and West and West Ham. This is um, an absolute no-brainer for us. And finally, in, in, since you arrived at Chelsea, you've got the best of Pep Guardiola, uh, Jose Mourinho, Jurgen Klopp, um, Simeo. You've got, you've got the better of pretty much every top manager there is <clears throat> around right now. Um, do you feel you've really, in the last two months, announced yourself on the on the on the, the domestic and world and European stage? Well, I don't think like this, and and obviously we we had a big defeat against Big Sam. And there has to be a big revenge coming up uh, soon. 
So, but I don't think like this. I, I never I never saw it like this, and I, I, I hopefully will never see it like this. That I battle against coaches. I, I am responsible for a, for a, for a huge club in the toughest league in Europe, and I am here to have these kind of competitions. So once you you have it the other sideline, the most the most influential and the most successful and the most charismatic coaches uh, out there in Europe, you know that the, the challenge is on and that's why I'm here and that's what excites me a lot and what brings me out of bed early, like I mentioned before. And this is what it is, but uh, honestly, I know very well that you, if you want to have results like we had and like you mentioned, um, you need also the, 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 the bit of luck and you need the momentum. So I demand from myself also that we do not get carried away by this and, and, and think that I beat someone. We did not play tennis um, and I clearly did not play tennis or chess against them. Um, it is in the end I lead my team and the credit goes for the players. And um, when you arrive with a team which is able to perform and to, to create results against um, against other strong, strong clubs, then you're a happy coach, and this was this. Okay, last two, Liam Toomey and Nick Pure to finish. Liam. Hi, Thomas. Hi. Chelsea are in a position now where you have a lot to play for and a lot to win yeah. um, at this stage of the <coughs> season. Is any part of you worried that the events of the last 24 hours and any possible consequences for the clubs involved could affect what you achieve on the pitch? I only know it since some hours, so there's not too much time to get worried about it and uh, clearly I hope not. Everybody wishes for a calm atmosphere, everybody, of course me, myself and, and we here in Cobham, we wish for a calm atmosphere, calm situation to have the full focus. Do we have it? Yeah, maybe not, but this may be our choice and it is clearly our choice if we get influenced, if we read too much about it, if we get our um, uh, heads lost in, in, in sports political stuff that we are not responsible for. We are, um, we are here in this club to, to play our role and, and to, make, to make happen that we are uh, challenging for, for on the highest level. And this is what I'm here for, and uh, nobody expects anybody, anything else from me. Maybe you today, of course, and in the next days, but uh, honestly, I'm the coach and I have a team to coach, and, and uh, this is the target. And uh, nothing will change between me and the team, so hopefully we, we, we stay calm. Sometimes in the middle of the storm is the calmest, and uh, it's the calmest situation, the most calm situation. So let, let's hope that it's like this, and... and um, I don't enter even in this because uh, would would even sound like an excuse to me. Last question, Nick Pure. Hi Thomas, could you give us an injury update on uh, the fitness of likes of Andreas and Thiago? And um, just on Sammy's situation, I know I, I understand what you're saying entirely, but um, uh, could you understand from his position if he was worried? And, and is it difficult for a player to put that on in mind? Obviously, they just want to. To play and just you know and do the best they can in everything they've, they've got going on. But could you could you have sympathy for somebody? If absolutely. They were? So is it difficult to do? Yeah, you know, is it just to sort of put that in mind as well? Yeah, absolutely. I can have I can have uh, I have a lot of sympathy for him, and I can absolutely understand that he is worried, that he's sad, that he's maybe angry on me when I do these decisions. I have full understanding. But what I absolutely appreciate about Tammy and about all the others who are in a bit of similar uh, situation is the, um, the mentality and attitude uh, with which he arrives nevertheless in the next days and the next morning and yesterday and, and, and I'm very sure also today because uh, he never lets it, uh, he never let feel the, the others and the group and gets affected the group by it that's, and that's the main point to be, to be top professional and um, don't get me wrong it's also what we demand if you sign up for Chelsea, you sign up for tough, tough competition. If you sign, if you're a player for Chelsea, yeah, you, 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 in your dreams and 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 and, and um, very, very likely in Tommy's dreams, we can absolutely be sure he wants to be the number nine. He wants to be the guy who starts for us every game. Yes, but like like many other players as well, so it's a tough, tough situation personally for him. In a good moment for for the team. So you have to put your ego aside, and this is uh, this is also what we demand of him. But this is what what he gets a lot of credit for, for me also, from me personally, 
and from his teammates because he's not letting anybody down he's pushing and we have uh, some other guys and I cannot be 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 more proud on on his reactions and then on on um, on a reaction like 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 from from Emerson who 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 did not play for for many many uh, games is always here with a smile always pushing pushing with quality pushing when he's on the bench ready when he's on the pitch like uh, look at the situation from Kepa uh, this is amazing and it's not it's not that I, I I can demand it but at the same time I know how hard this is and I can absolutely sympathy I have sympathies for for their reactions and for their feelings that's why we need to take care about them because it's not like a given that they react like this but this makes a strong group in the end and we have a lot a lot of games coming in a tight fixture things can change so quickly in football but uh, you need to be ready this is what uh, this club demands and uh, this is what we demand from them from in terms of injury, I, I expect Andreas to be back and to be available. I hope he did a very good training session yesterday. I hope this will continue today. With Thiago, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit different, not because of injury, but maybe because of uh, acute overload after his injury with the two games. But um, uh, he's not injured, so he, we have to take care a bit of his overload and, and see if it makes sense that he starts again is on the bench but uh, I think and I hope that it's only um, Kova um, that uh, we have out with injury Okay, thank you that is the end of the <coughs> broadcast section